Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Modern Day Mod here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new series on the fantastic new 1.9 update. We're also starting in the 2000 date, thanks to you guys. We're playing as the French. We're playing as Jacques Chirac. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Custom game rules wise. We'll keep everything on default, except for no NATO, no EU, and we want to turn off takeover of faction leadership, because that's annoying. But that's the only settings we're changing for this series. Alright, let's get stuck in and check out this brand new 1.9 update, and we'll go through it. Okay, so... Major thing first, let's go straight to our construction and we'll go through the new energy tab. So energy is now a resource in the game, it's not just this absent thing. So essentially civilian factories, military need to run on energy. So the total energy we have at the moment is 63, I'm assuming that's like gigawatts. Our total consumption is 62, so we're currently in a one surplus. So as you can see here, we get all of our energy from our various power plants, factories and parks. Now I thought I'd play as France because they have a really strong nuclear reaction sector. They've also got some renewables and also I thought potentially we could leverage our former overseas colonies in Africa if we want to get more and stuff as well. So I thought I'd play as France. I think with this new energy system it would be kind of cool to play as them. So as you can see here you can build an enrichment facility, you can build a battery pack, you can buy fuel from the market as well. So if you want to import fuel from Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, they're going to get more influence. As you can see here, you can build renewable energy infrastructure uh, along with a fossil fuel plant and strategic fuel. So there's a whole new sensible and realistic energy system now in the game, which is fantastic. Moving on now to one of the other new features, we have the unemployment feature. It actually says here we have a 9% unemployment threshold and an 8% rate. So essentially, if you want to drop this down, you'll need to increase your spending on social and stability. We've also got production as well. As you can see, your productivity rate will affect your factory, dockyard, construction speed and cor corporate tax input. Uh, what else was there? Oh, I do think that fighters have a a little bit more customization. Uh, you can create some variants. I think for the bombers, they mostly have a different variant. Also, what else is in this update? Uh, India, Turkey, and Venezuela have brand new tech trees. Uh, it might lag a little bit if we try to get to it because it's just absolutely massive. Here is India's. Also, Central Asia got a tech tree, which I believe it includes includes Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Germany and Italy and the US have a slight rework as well, along with Russia. Okay, so let's set up this campaign. Yep, NATO is definitely off. So, starting things off, national focus-wise, I think we want to start off with going with State of French Politics, which gives us 200 political power. Uh, we've also got the Francosphere. There's a fair few regions that we can go down in this series. We can push into the African Sphere, the Middle East and Asia, our old sort of spheres of influence. Lebanon, Syria, Senegal. We'll see. I haven't decided where I'm going to go just yet. Let me know in the comments. We could try and rebuild the old Frankish Empire. We are a pluralist society. Stable growth. Want to get that up. Uh, for corruption. That's a little bit high. We've got the French Democratic Confederation of Labour. Military Industrial Complex. Maritime in Industry. Right. Our maritime industry is actually quite strong. Interesting. We should have a big navy then. Uh, large civil service. That's not bad. Probably want to up the military spending. High police. Oh, probably spending too much on higher education. Basic universal healthcare is pretty good. Extensive welfare state, yikes. We want to try and drop that. But, you know, the French, they love to protest. So, I'm pretty sure if we try to change the age pension, they're not going to be happy. Alright, so we're a consumption economy, volunteer service for both men and women. We have regional interventionalism and officer international. So, what do we got here? Oh, we got the defense industry that we can look into. Alright, we'll keep an eye on that sort of stuff. All right, decisions wise, oh wow, we can buy nuclear grade material from 
The UK, Germany, Russia, China, the United States. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's significant so we can get better reactor stuff. Hmm. I kind of want to be fiercely independent. I do want to try and move away from the UK, Germany, China, Russian sphere of influence. We'll see. <laughs> we can retire. Jacques Dirac? No. Um, we can get some military personnel. Like, what do we actually own as France in 2000? So, we've obviously got the core French territory. We're guaranteeing the independence of what? Andorra and Morocco. Hilarious. No, we, what do we actually own? So, France. Oh, yeah, we've got French Guyana. Oh, we've even got a little bit down here. What's this? Guadalupe? <laughs> Never heard of that place in my life. Um... Got a couple of islands here. We also have New Caledonia, of course. Hilarious. We could do a naval invasion into Australia here. <laughs> uh, we can release French Guyana. Interesting. No, we don't want to release anyone just yet. Okay. Weapons-wise, we can currently purchase foreign equipment from the United States, Germany, and UK. We might have a look at that in the future. I think we might buy tanks. From what I remember in real life, our, we don't really have just like an iconic tank. The Germans have the Leopards, the UK has the Challengers, and the Americans have the Abrams. We might try and look to get something of our own. Alright, let's create an intelligence agency. The DGES. Never heard of that in my life before. Alright, I guess that's what they want. Research-wise, okay. So, we can get the 2005 for mass, which will take quite a bit. So we haven't got a bad rifle, ball, puck, ball pop, it's okay. Armoured vehicles, interesting. We should have more, surely. surely. Surely we should have more access somehow. Okay, maybe it's bugged. That's a bit weird. Oh no, it's into here. Oh, here, so the armour's changed. Oh, here we go. So we have a third generation, yeah. Oh, okay, so we can get a fifth generation. I think it's like the 2010s. They decided to redo the, um, remilitarize the army a bit, modernize it. We've got pretty good AVFs and IVFs, though. It's interesting that we've got, like, four wheels. I think most of our infantry fighting vehicles are designed to run over sand, sand dunes, and over the plains of sub-Saharan Africa, West Africa, rather than the fields of Europe. Okay, so we've got some... Interesting anti-air systems. Navy. Uh, we should have access to the Mirage variant, I imagine. Where's that? Is it somewhere here? Isn't that our fighter? Okay. Maybe not being specific. Alright, let's have a look at our electronics and industry. Wow, we don't have 95 microprocessors. Yikes. Okay, we're going to definitely get the research speed and factory output from there. Uh, research and cap, it's fine. Okay, so they've also added a whole new section of the fuel processing and power technologies. As you can see here, we can get better quality uh, gasification combined, uh, advanced control. We also can get high efficiency, like solar panels and stuff. We can get better quality utility storage as well. At the moment, I don't think we need to upgrade our railway. Resource efficiency, it's probably not a bad idea to do that. We currently have 19 fossil fuels within France. Okay. 54 light metals, no rubber, no technology metals. Fair bit of steel. Zero precious metals. Okay. Um, how about we upgrade everything? We don't, we don't want to be too unreliant. Let's go with that. And let's go high efficiency. So let's go with all that stuff. All right. We have the international market here. Okay. Trade-wise, we will come back to this once we get some construction going. So at the moment, money-wise, we're making 1.3. Population tax, 39%. That's a little bit too high for my liking. Corporate, 28. That could go down as well. So I think it's probably not a bad idea to build an office sector. So let's build one in Paris. I also think we should be keeping a watchful eye on our energy generation and consumption because it's quite close there. So I think we'll build another nuclear reactor. Where should we build it? Probably just on the outskirts of France and Paris here. 
we could get some renewable energy as well. So we should build that. We'll build it off the coast of Brittany. That'd be quite smart, having some wind solar panels. Uh, wind and solar out here. Okay, and let's build a fossil fuel plant somewhere as well. Uh, we can't build it down in southern France. <laughs> I guess we'll build it here. I don't know. And strategic fuel reserve. Let's build one in Paris itself, right in the capital. Okay, so let's go to our production. Let's have a look. So at the moment, we can't produce any rifles, which is quite... Let's get all this in. Produce without a military organization. Oh, wow. So there's even more in-depth into this. Yikes. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's put everything in for now. I don't think we need attack helicopters. Make sure we're producing at least one of everything. Okay. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's go with a third generation tank. We might look to buy tanks. Oh, attack helicopters are really good. In this mod, you can get some really deadly... Attack helicopter divisions. So let's get one of everything. Let's set it all up. Air Force wise. Um, what do I want? Generation 1 drone. Uh, oh yeah, so here we go. Here's the Mirage variants. So let's get one of them going. Raphael multi-roll. Air yeah, superiority. Let's go with this one, which gives us a close air. Okay, dockyards wise. Oh wow, we've actually got quite a large navy, which is surprising. We'll go with convoys. Um, I think we'll go with a battle cruiser. Just having a brief look there. It seems like we've actually got a really nice wide variety and well balanced navy. Submarines for the price and cost effectiveness. I think we should build a bunch of subs. Like, subs are so underrated in Millennium Dorm. They're so good in vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. And in this. So, how long would it take? It's going to take six years to get that. Yikes. One year for an attack sub. Three year for a missile. So, now, that's going to require us to get some trade going. So, let's get some rubber from India. Let's get some tongue. Uh, technology metals from Australia and let's get some precious metals from the United States okay recruitment and deployment let's have a look at these divisions uh, they're not too shabby so I think we'll try and get one of everything get some French foreign legion in I suppose I actually don't mind the default divisions for Millennium Dawn um, they're not terrible you can get better ones, but I don't think they're that bad, as people say. I think people overstate that. Okay, let's drop everyone down. Get one of everything going. A nice, even splattering. All right, let's have a look at our logistics and materiel. 300 attack helicopters. Yikes. 500 battle tanks. Yeah, we definitely need more. We have a really nice amount of armoured personnel carriers, 4,000. What are our rifles looking at? Ooh, 7,000? Hmm. I'd like that to be in the high 10k, ideally. Officer cores, we can upgrade that eventually. Oh, let's have a look at our missiles and stuff. Now, I believe we don't have a strike first doctrine. Mm, no. I don't think we do. For example, if they, like, equip an ICBM, load it up, aim it right at Paris, and they're, like, shooting it, I don't think we can preemptively stop them from doing that, technically. Interesting. Alright. So, army-wise, 12 divisions, 73 battalions. Uh, okay. A lot more armor than what I thought. I thought they'd have more... Um, infantry units. Okay. So, that's not terrible. All right, let's uh, move. Where would we go first? Germany? Mm, they're probably too strong. Italy? Probably the same. Spain. Over the Pyrenees could be an idea. Well, let's set up a front line. And set up a potential invasion plan for Spain. All right, let's have a look at our air force. 
How many do planes do we have? Oh wow, we've actually got quite a bit. 119. Whoa! 254 2004th Gen Mirage fighters. Yikes, that's pretty good. Huh, okay. So, we definitely have a really good Air Force. What about Navy? Oh, very nice. 19 fleets. One, we have a carrier? We have one carrier. Seriously? Is it a carrier? Or is it, you know what I mean? Like, the Chinese have carriers, technically. The Charles de Gaulle. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, so it's definitely a good idea to get some subs, I think, and then get a battleship. Because we've got frigates, eight, so we've got one carrier, four helicopter operators, one cruiser, nine, 18 frigates, six destroyers, so that's really nice for screening. Four missile subs, six attack, nine corvettes. So yeah, we definitely made the right decision in getting one battleship and then getting subs for the rest. Okay, well let's grab the navy and let's rally it up. I think we'll move it to Brittany. I think that's the play. Various other decisions as well. And... Unlock military industrial traits. So what side do we want to go down? An R&D team. So... I think... So this is just like production bonuses. Military bonus. Reliability. I don't think we're going to have a reliability problem. Okay, I think we're going to go down... Heavy vehicle selection. I think it, I think that's the trait we want. Okay, for helicopters. So let's go through all of this. So we have to do this for every single one. Okay, so I've prioritized soft attack, breakthrough, and basically heavy armor. Man, there's so much stuff you can really min-max here and dive into. But yeah, prioritizing mostly heavy armor. Armor piercing, hard, and soft attack. That's what I'm sort of going for. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, exiled divisions. Oh, okay, there. Moving back across. We're using a little bit of fuel at the moment. As we're rallying up the Navy in Brittany. Is it here? Let's merge. Is all of it here? Not quite. And then we'll put, basically, the rest of our naval units to be recruited straight there. So if you were to attack the Spanish, 80% inferior enemy, still got some divisions. So a war, we would probably win. Okay, is everyone here now? Let's get a French Admiral in. Okay, there's one more that hasn't quite make it, made it, but we can now automatically set to this naval group, and we don't have to worry about divvying it up. All right, let's continue on. Okay, a little bit of officer experience. Let's go with division training time minus 10. That's quite a bit, because we are trying to grow our army, at least to 50 to 60 divisions. Defense, not so much yet. Let's go with the army drill expert. Okay, so what's this? Oh, we can put a naval officer in. Naval speed positioning. We can do it early. It's only 10. Or should we save it for the 20? I think we'll save up for the 20. Okay, decisions-wise, we've got this reactor-grade material. So where do we want this campaign to go? It's probably not a bad idea to side with the US. They are the strongest faction in the game. So let's buy reactor-grade material from the United States. The United States has accepted the purchase. The United States have confirmed the sale of nuclear fuel power, nuclear fuel to power our reactors, right? A shipment is en route. Nice. So that's been done and sealed. Uh, we are using a little bit of fuel as the Navy sitting here. Okay, so we can open the market as well. I wouldn't mind potentially buying equipment. Oh, I guess we spent it? Interesting. The main thing is the tanks. We've got plenty of IVFs. I, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe buy some Leopard 1s. Hell, even maybe some Centurions, potentially. Yeah, let's get... 
one lot of leopard ones and let's get a centurion as well and we'll try and pay off this debt as best we can as we make plans and preparations to go against the Spanish okay this is now being complete our intelligence agency okay I don't know where we're gonna send them just yet all right so French politic is now done um, where do I want to go down potentially I haven't decided just yet so maybe we go with Franco spear for now I imagine we want to stand Western Outlook so the PRP is growing though okay we got some political power now to spend I think we just go simply go to fast growth suppose we reduce corruption as well okay so we're minus 800 108 81 billion because of those reactors I suppose we will make it back eventually okay we're consuming a bunch of fuel why okay I'm assuming it's got to do with our industry that we've got going okay so let's import fuel from the United States that's still not offsetting so it looks like we're putting all our eggs in the American basket for now we have an agent we can recruit Tiago Dupas <laughs> he, he sounds cool uh, maybe we go with her though she's a linguist okay Franco sphere is now complete is there anywhere we want to immediately go into we got North Africa Spain okay I'm just sort of seeing here uh, fixing our economy is probably not a bad idea French army as well yeah how about we get that give us experience all around have we hit 20 yet no okay so we can so let's upgrade our Navy let's go with naval maneuver Air Force wise ground support air supremacy I don't tend to strategically bomb that much we are getting submarines eventually division recovery rate that's probably not too bad air supreme no which one do I want we are getting submarines so maybe we get a submarine expert okay so the Saudis want to propose a trade agreement sure I'm more than happy to accept that so the Spanish have moved some infantry to their border keeping a watchful eye on us we'll allocate some more of these officer corps and I think we're making plans and preparations to go for a war pretty early on we could continue to build up the Grand Armée division attack that would be quite nice I don't think we would lose on the face of things they are guaranteeing the independence of and Andorra okay I was just saying if they were getting guaranteed we would like to try and build up our fuel capacity as much as we can and can we allocate this last one air wing experience no let's go with army experience and recovery Italy wants a trade agreement sure we'll accept nice and now we're getting our first lot of infantry being recruited mostly are using the Milan ATGM the anti-tank guided missile we're using the famous G2 and the portable M defense of the man pad okay so Italy wants to invest the project is going to cost 16 billion what's going on in Italy at the moment Western Outlook they have military bases in Bosnia but that's about it we'll accept that and we'll move this to the front line so how far away until we get proper units coming okay so still a little bit away we could afford to wait we're in no rush just yet that's the thing is in that the thing is with hearts of iron 4 you can just sit back for the entire campaign building up 
military equipment and material get that production efficiency <laughs> so good and then once you attack it's basically you can run over everyone I don't necessarily have the patience for that all the time I'd rather attack a little bit earlier for the fun of things okay we'll continue to look to pay off our debt where we can okay that's now being complete where do I want to go down here research rate for all armor close air support let's get an upgrade there so at least let's maybe go through the tier one approach of the army might not be a bad idea to reduce our corruption potentially it might be smart. Nice. We finally unlocked some doctrines. We also have some other ones here as well. Air Mobile Marine Airborne. So let's start off with a land doctrine. Now I tend to go down with network centric warfare and go down the combined arms operation. So let's start off with this, which will give us a max planning bonus. So we're already growing our military apparatus. Okay, yeah, let's spend the 390 to reduce our corruption. It does look like the non-aligned and the nationals have lost some sphere of influence. So the Italians are still building a civilian factory for us, which is nice. We're focusing on getting this office sector, which will be complete in two years. Then we'll be eventually be able to get all of these other fantastic stuff. Um, oh, it's only going to be 18 days before we get some Leopard 2s and Challengers in. So we probably should wait for those to come in. Okay, so we do have some spare political power here. I think we'll leave it. Alright, Air Force has been complete. Let's just go with the Navy one. We probably couldn't afford to wait. Okay. So we've got some self-propelled American m 70s there. They can come down to help. Now we're operating with 14 divisions, 83 battalions. Four tank battalions, three light, two mechanized, two special, one airborne, one light air assault. I want to look at this. This is probably like absolutely wicked. Yeah, 42 Cougar attack helicopters. Hell yeah. There will be other political events as well going on. We can't upgrade any of this, unfortunately. But it looks like we're going to be... What can we upgrade? Oh, maybe airborne stuff. Maybe go with marine. Uh, okay, airborne. It's going to give us some organization. So let's spend that. More infantry coming along. Is it up here? Where, where, where can we spend it? Is it somewhere else here in the Navy? No? Why is it saying I can spend more but I can't? Oh, here, right. That was it. Okay. Uh, let's go with economic boom now. Once that comes in. Okay. Still trying to bring down our debt. Once this is complete, we probably should be ready to go. We might need to request some more fuel from the states. But we've been sitting here for a couple months now. We've probably got an idea how we want to go against the Spanish. Okay, so we're at corruption 3. No, we're not going to accept that proposal. We just spent the political power trying to whittle it down. But so far, politically, Jacques Chirac seems to be... Wiping out a lot of his political opponents. It's gone up to 72 now. Uh, Morocco asks for a debt bailout. Sure. Let's do that because we might be able to force assimilate the country potentially. Okay, now that that's complete, I guess we go with economic policy. Okay, so we've got some traits to dish out here. What can we go for? Is it officer core stuff? Or is it down here? Uh, okay. Alright. 
We have 198 political power. Should I spend this on any more? Should we change our to semi-consumption? Hmm. We could go with a mixed economy, potentially. Alright, let's go with semi-consumption. Let's set ready up to go. So, we're going to fly over the Pyrenees. Aggressive. Yeah. Let's make sure the Navy is going to be doing convoy raiding, operating from the Bay of Biscal to the Iberian coast. We'll completely surround Spain. Air Force wise, where is our biggest base? Okay, we've got a thousand in Provence. So let's try and chuck nearly a thousand there. Oh, that's everyone. Okay, well, let's get them to operate over the top. We'll go with close air support and then. That's what I think we should focus on. Because sometimes you can do multi roll if you've got a bunch of multi roll fighters. But no. We'll just go with close air support for now. And we'll just quickly get them running so we can have a rough idea how much fuel we're using a bunch. So we're going to negotiate with the Americans. Yeah, we're just going to hammer through that oil. Yikes, we're really going to have to rely on the Amer rely on the Americans for this. Okay. We might actually have to tr uh, cancel some of these other production projects for now. Because we haven't even got any tanks or anything involved just yet. Okay, so now, oh my god, we're actually requesting 64 fossil fuel products from the states and that's the only way we can support this war yikes okay did those challenges arrive uh, one batch did so I wonder if they're automatically just being chucked into one of these divisions they might have been very well is it here anyway if we lose a couple of these they'll be put in they'll be put to use eventually as you can see here, we've already got some American uh, self-propelled artillery there. That's already come in. All right, then. Let's declare war upon the Spanish. The UK, Portugal aren't going to be too happy. Hopefully, no one comes in to defend them. So, let's go. France has declared war upon Spain. Okay, so, war-wise, we have 15 divisions. They have an estimated 9 to 28. We currently have industry over them. I'm assuming we're going to have air supremacy and potentially naval supremacy. So we're starting to push on over. The Italians are going to send us military aid. So Ukraine is starting to get better quality relations with us. Do we have some air wings not doing anything? No. Okay. So, do we have air supremacy over the top? We do. We are st starting to use a lot of this fuel. <laughs> Can I get some more, potentially? Maybe the Saudis can give me some more? Because that's what's going to sort of make or break this offensive. Okay, that's a bit better now. At the moment, we have naval supremacy all about. And we are slowly but surely moving into Spanish territory. We're winning in a lot of areas. We're starting to now hit their convoys. We've taken out three. We've managed to take in out two Spanish Hornets there. As their air force is starting to deploy. We took out another one there as well. A lot of naval combat is going on. Okay. We've lost 77. We managed to take out 8k Spaniards. Okay. No. The maritime industry suppose a trade deal. So we can subsidize convoys. Uh, I suppose we subsidize the industry. We're slowly but surely pushing over the Pyrenees. Andorra asks for a bailout. We'll accept that. Still chipping away at their air force, which is super nice. Our navy's doing really quite well. Probably 
Probably could switch to air supremacy now. If things become an issue, we might need to swap back. We are super smashing their air force, which is kind of crazy. In the open sea. 225 French losses. Now we're getting into a really interesting situation. Oh, wow. The Saudis, I think, cancelled their fuel export to us. The Americans don't want to send us anymore as well. Yikes. I guess we asked Russia. Oh, maybe. Wait, why can't we get any more? <laughs> I guess it's our convoys. Maybe our convoys are starting to get hit. Oh, we've got an engagement here now, though. With their navy. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just go down army stuff. Switch back to air support. I can't see us losing this war. But it is going a little bit more... slower than what I anticipated. We're going to run out of fuel soon. That's going to be a major issue. Okay. They are... Uh, we've only chipped away about 70% towards their capitulation. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, even though we're importing a bunch. We just don't have any convoys. We had a convoy issue. I think that's what's happening. We are producing them. They're just taking a while to get here. Uh, we're going to be out of fuel. Oh no, it's good now. Maybe our convoys are getting hit and I can't see somewhere. They might They might be, actually. For supply for trade. Yeah, maybe we're exporting stuff, technically. We're getting pretty close. Ethiopia seeks investment. Sure. Okay. We hit rock bottom, but now we're bouncing a bit. We are getting convoys, but they just seem to be take, getting taken up. Alright, unfortunately, although the Navy is doing a tremendous job, we're going to have to basically halt our naval operations, and we're going to have to go back and base them back in Brittany. So that should help our fuel massively. Okay. We're stretching them now a bit, so this should help our front line. We've taken Valencia. Barcelona has been liberated. They are getting more divisions, but at the moment we've only lost 1k to their 25. We're starting to stretch them quite a bit. We're making our way towards Madrid. We've unlocked some more doctrines as well. We want to go down with combined arms. We're about to surround a unit here. But slowly but surely, Spain will be under French occupation. Okay, fuel's an issue again. Where's the navy? Is it being properly based? Get back, why? Get, get here. Get back. They're not doing operations somewhere else, are they? Okay. Instantly fixes our fuel issue. Okay. Where do I want to go down? Airborne recovery. It's probably not a bad idea. Paratrooper organization. Let's go with this. Insufficient resources. Yes, I know. We'll get back to it at some point. Okay. We're going to get a bonus down there. Oh, we're getting pushed back a little bit slightly. A large-scale drought is affecting Senegal. They require aid. Sure. We can't allow one of our former 
French-speaking colonies to get pushed into a different sphere of influence. We lost 5k now compared to their 40. We are getting stretched a bit, but we still haven't managed to take Madrid. Oh, we finally uh, don't have air supremacy over the top. Our close air support isn't working. Maybe we switch to air supremacy then? Yeah, there we go. That's a bit better. Start taking it out. We're sitting at 470. We might be able to get rid of their active fighters completely. We should change the tide. Okay, a lot of our industry stuff just got finished off then, and I think I want to go with fuel refinery. That would be the only thing I change. Everything else we can continue to invest in. Oh, that's going to take a thousand days. Let's not do that. Let's go with resource gain. Okay, still very much focusing on Madrid. 6k, not too high. Congo asks for a bailout. I'm going to refuse that one. As it's not a... I don't think the Congo... No, that was Dutch, wasn't it? Wasn't a, I don't think it was in our sphere of influence. Okay, we're starting to wrap around here. We want to try and build up our fuel supply again. We've got another unit we can send down south. A mm, little bit of a push here. Have we crushed their air force? Nearly. Nearly completely wiped it out. We can probably switch back now. To close air. A little bit of an encirclement here. Nice. We've managed to cut off the Galatia province to southern Spain here. A little bit of a push. Nice. Okay, let's just continue to get bonuses. Uh, Sierra Leone wants a trade agreement. Sure, we'll accept that. Let's continue to go down this. They are very close to capitulation, but we're starting to balloon a little bit. There's no crazy naval invasions or anything going on, no. Okay, let's swing back around. We're trying to push for Leon. Madrid's now fallen, and it's probably only going to be a matter of time before the rest of Spain does. Uh, yes, we'll grant Andorra the bailout. They must be so close to capitulating. Let's go with Armoured Landing Force. April now, 2001. Our front line could be a little bit better. Can we just go straight for Seville? Yeah, go for Malaga. Like, they're so close. Right, make sure you push for this. Focus on Granada. We just need those last little capture points. How have they not capitulated? What is happening? Colombia. Okay, we're about to crush the rest of them in the north here. I am worried about an encircle, like a, a naval invasion in the north, but we should be okay. Alright, let's focus on this, and then we'll eventually draw a front line down here in a second. They're, they're about to capitulate. Spain proper's about to form. I'm curious to see, though, before they do capitulate, who was supporting them? No one. So we've lost 14k, which isn't a tremendous amount, seeing as they've lost 70. Go back for Seville. Nice, we got it. Spain has capitulated. We've managed to take 105 Boeing CH-47 Chinooks and some trains as well. Nice. Okay, so where do we begin? So, liberate. Oh, nice. We could just partition Spain. Puppet Catalonia, Galatia, Basque Country, Spain, Andalusia, the Canary Islands. I'm nearly tempted to do that. <laughs> so, Puppet Catalonia. 
and then have them all serve a greater France. Galatia, the Basque Country, Andalusia, and the Canaries, and we'll submit that, and then we'll give them their own regions. I kind of want to core some of this territory over the Pyrenees for, for me. So, to be like Greater France. And then I, I am open to puppeting a lot. Okay, so I'm going to take this at least. I don't want it to look too border gory, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not to be too gross. Is that too much? Yeah, I think so. So we'll take that. Uh, do I want some of the coast here? No, I definitely want this. I think I'll take that. Um, I am open to sort of taking some of their island, far-flung island territory. So we'll pop it. The territory that I can see here. Okay, so we'll pop it that. Do I want to take just this though for me? I think I might. Alright, we've got the navy here as well. Nice. We can basically take their entire navy, I think. And we'll do that. Okay, well... I think I'm happy with the partition of Spain. Let's confirm. Nice. So, Spain has capitulated. France has taken six states. Catalonia, Galatia, the Basque Country, Andalusia, the Canary Islands are all free and liberated. But they now sw uh, swear fealty to France. <laughs> that is not Tyson Fury. Oh, God. Okay, then we've got Andalusia, Galatia, and the Basque Country in Bilbao. Nice. Okay. So, how does that f change our economy slightly? So, now we have more energy generation, I think. I just want to see if it changes. Okay. So, that's helped us quite a bit. Our office sector is going to be... 21. We've got 33 construction, so even taking this, we've managed to get a little bit more. Military factory still see, see very much the same. Alright, and then what's going on in Spain now? Gabriel is now their faction leader. And now we can create a faction whenever we want. Nice. Very nicely done. We should be able to see the, um, the navy we took as well. Nice. Look at this. Oh, wow. We've managed to take 33 ships. That's insane. Look at all those flotillas as well. We're going to have a massive French armada. Fantastic. Alrighty, let's continue to expand and conquer. We have an abundance of political power. Now, there isn't too many decisions to spend on. Our economy's good. We're not constantly juggling with economic downturn and corruption. Also, our governmental expenditures. I guess we could switch to globalized trade eventually. Uh, is it better to go in stages of trade law? Or should we just jump to the end? Hopefully, there's no unforeseen consequences. I could switch to a partial draft as well, as we've only got 60k manpower left. Which isn't a crazy amount. Okay, so how long until we can get an upgrade at Famos 2005? Let's continue to focus on industry where we can. Let's go with gene therapy. National focus. Let's continue down the army. Getting army upgrades, I think. And then we might look to go for a new target, potentially. Maybe some of these smaller states now. Andorra, Monaco, incredibly wealthy. I don't think we're going to need an air force particularly to help us out. I don't think they even have a standing army. Okay, let's move the navy we've managed to pick up there. 
merge. We are slowly but surely building a world-class navy. Also got some land doctrine points to spend as well. And let's look to move into Andorra. Yeah, governmental expenditures I think is probably fine. Could go medium though. Okay, still making a profit. Resource-wise, could get some rubber, could get some steel. We're not going to need a crazy amount of fuel. We're not going to be at war for too long if they don't have a standing army. I doubt that Andorra is going to call anyone in and challenge us overall. So, let's go to war with Andorra. And let's march on in. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I think we'll just annex it. Germany and Ukraine want to send material. Nice. We could give it to the Basque country, but I don't think so. Just need to wait for it to be done. And calculate. Nice. <laughs> Clear conquest. And I suppose we'll continue on this same vein. We might go for Monaco and Liechtenstein as well. Let's move over to there. It should actually probably help out our GDP quite a bit. <laughs> My god, that tank is so massive. So let's go to war with Monaco. Let's move in. They have now capitulated. Let's continue to bail out the new states we've liberated in Spain. Andalusia, Catalonia and the Basque Country. And let's take Monaco. They don't have a navy or a standing army or anything. Nice. We brought them in. Okay. So, decent amount of civvy factories now, which is good. Okay, we've got some traits and officer corps to deal with. Let's spend them out. And... Where do we go next? We probably nearly can make our own faction, but I think we should go north. We've got a large enough army to liberate the French speakers in Belgium. And we've also got some fresh recruits as well. So let's make a front line. Now we are moving into the Germanic sphere of influence. And... I suppose Britain to some extent. So let's just hope they don't declare war upon us. Right, let's move on up. We could deal with the Navy. And Air Force helping. Yep. Let's get you fly boys to run some drills over the top. As we're slowly but surely building up and securing France's borders. And hopefully we can get strong enough to then go after a big faction like the UK, Germany, Italy. We'll see. I just don't I don't think we're strong enough just yet. I don't want to declare war upon a major faction until we at least have at least fifty divisions. So we might look to go down into North Africa. South America potentially. So let me know in the comments where you like me to expand and conquer for this series. I'm thinking definitely a lot of our old colonial territory. I would like to get some divisions from them as well at some point. Okay, so let's declare war upon Belgium. And let's go, 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 go. A little bit of resistance. Let's get our air force running over the top, close air support. We'll get our navy to do convoy raiding in the channel. They have managed to bring up some divisions. But nothing too crazy. Let's make sure we call everyone in. And this should be a nice, quick, easy war against Belgium. Now, unlike in Spain, where we puppeted, liberated a bunch of factions, I think I might go down the same route as Andorra and Monaco. And ultimately just take all this for myself. Nice. We've managed to take some decent rifles there. Let's core all of this territory to be considered as Greater France. And they also have got a sizable navy as well. We could look to go against the Dutch as well. 
Because they're just close by. Okay, only a small additional navy. The more territory we have bordering Germany, the easier it will be to get over there. I'm pretty sure the Maginot Line has been dismantled. <laughs> but it is still a bit of a narrow push to push over from South Lorraine or whatever it's called. That's Stru the Strasbourg territory. Having a point into northern Germany from the Netherlands will make things a lot easier. Alright, so I might even look to call that territory as well, potentially. It won't look too weird and border gory. So let's extend the navy to run with some more convoy raiding drills. Let's make sure we get enough fuel from the United States. Man, already in this new update 1.9, you can definitely notice how much more you're reliant on fuel resources from various nations. Yikes. Alright, let's declare war upon the Netherlands. Let's go on in. A little bit more narrow. Will they put up more of a fight compared to Belgium? So far, potentially not. Moving in now to Amsterdam. If we can secure and control the biggest port in Western Europe, that's going to be a massive coup for us. And they don't have any overseas territory, no. They've just got this. So let's core all that. Very nicely done. Could take Luxembourg now. Uh, oh, we can't actually afford a lot of the large Dutch navy. That's unfortunate. We're just going to have to pass on it then. Okay, so... Wow, 47. Our civilian sector's gone up massively. Means our en energy consumption's gone up a bit as well. So we're going to be able to finish that office sector soon, which is nice. But we've managed to... take in control... most of the Western European... industrial sect under a French banner and we can create a faction soon at some point okay um where do we go now Luxembourg I guess it's just there small little outlier and then we'll probably make plans and preparations to go against someone big maybe Germany maybe North African territory I don't know haven't decided just yet, so let me know in the chat and comments. Yeah. Luxembourg isn't going to hold too much longer. We managed to get a dockyard, though. Let's chuck it on the convoy, which would be nice. Okay. Let's hopefully bring Luxembourg under French control. And we'll probably look to call this as well. Nice. Clear-cut victory in China has embargoed us. Um, okay. Little bit bizarre. We can finally create a faction now as well. So, let's create one. Let's call it the Entente. With Spain and our Spanish allies, I suppose. There's more than three, but that's all right. Anyway, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for episode 2, coming out the exact same time tomorrow, where we're going to continue this Millennium Dawn French campaign. Let me know feedback and suggestions in the comments. My name has been Simsy. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.